helping single parents provide a better and brighter future for their families. That's the mission of Single Parent Scholarship Fund of NWA. And Crystal is here to fill us in on some scholarship information that you definitely don't want to miss. Hey, Crystal. Hey, Crystal. Hi, good morning, guys. Yeah, thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. For sure. Let's talk about the amazing work that uh, Single Parent Scholarship Fund is doing in our community. Yeah, so our organization has been around for almost 40 years now. We've given out over 21,000 scholarships, totaling almost $16 million. Um, what we do is we provide scholarship opportunities for single moms and dads to um, pursue higher education. So associate degree, bachelor degree, master's. And we also offer uh, workforce um, and credentialing. Okay. Yeah, and you're kind of an all-inclusive yes. place for people to feel well-supported as they yes. go and pursue degrees. And you're also a combined office, right? Mm -hmm. Can you fill us in on that again? Yeah, so about a year and a half ago, um, the Benton County affiliate merged with uh, the Washington County affiliate. They supported Washington, Madison, and Carroll. So now we're all four ones, so we all we support all four counties, Washington, Madison, Carroll, and Benton County. Okay, yes. And there's a deadline coming up, mm -hmm. I think it's next mm -hmm. month, yeah, right, June. to apply yes. for the fall cycle? Yeah, June okay. 15th. Um, if you're looking to go to school this fall, you would need to apply with our organization by by, um, June 15th. Okay. okay, that's the big deadline. Who is eligible to apply for those scholarships? Yeah, Crystal? so our scholarship is for low-income single parents living in those four counties that I mentioned, and the criteria is you can find that on our website. Sure. Okay. Are there certain qualities that maybe you're looking for in your applicants? You know, we really look for um, parents that are really trying to break that cycle of poverty for their children to bring them out of poverty and make a better life and living for them and their children. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I remember last time you were here, you had uh, Montanique with yeah. you, and she shared her experience about how um, it's it's a tough journey, mm -hmm. uh, but she's been able to do it. So it's just great to hear her story yeah. about how she's been able um, to finish and just her encouragement to parents out out there to uh, definitely utilize Single Parent Scholarship Fund because it's such a great organization when you're thinking about starting uh, or starting or finishing, mm -hmm. you know, your education. I like to think of the organization as being like a, a secret gem here because a lot of people don't really know um, about the organization. And so yeah. that's why we're here to let you all know about these opportunities for parents to uh, mm -hmm. continue their education. Yeah. yeah. When folks apply for this scholarship, do they have to be entering their first year mm. or can they be uh, re-entering maybe the system? No, so um, they can be re-entering, they can be starting for the first time, and we're there to help them along their educational journey. We meet them wherever they're at, and we just take them through the finish line. Okay. And a little bit beyond, too, because we want them to be extremely successful in their career as well. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Chris, are there some volunteer opportunities out there? Maybe there's some folks that are like, you know what, would love to get involved with the organization. How can they do that? Yeah, so one of the best ways to be involved, we have, of course, our board of directors, but we also have uh, community ambassadors. And um, these people help us with our some of our events that we need help mm -hmm. managing or help running. Also help interviewing students as well as just one of the most impactful ways that um, volunteers can help. Um, just the stories that these single moms and dads have and just the strength that they have to keep going for them and their children is just amazing. Yeah. Yes, yes, I've had the chance to sit in on a couple of those interviews yes. and the parents, the scholarship recipients, they're fantastic. So yeah. being a community ambassador is definitely the great, a great way to learn more about the organization. Yes. yes. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for you. joining us and filling us in. What's your website where people know, need to go to apply? Um, so you would go to spsfnwa.org. Okay. That's the place. Oh, we go. Yes, Crystal, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, guys. Yes, get those applications in.